Hey guys, sorry I'm back. Sorry, I'm back. Uh, I guess I was on the phone too long, so the uh, live video stopped running. So I'm going to start over. Uh, hi. Good morning. 10.45 on Wednesday. Amy and Shelly with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. We are just driving back from Boynton Beach. We're still in Boynton Beach. Heading back to Broward to the rescue house. Uh, we just took Balto in which you can see from our previous video. Balto was just brought in to Dr. Reese, the neurologist, after his shunt surgery. Um, they need to repeat an MRI to see why he is not moving. His mobility is decreasing and not increasing. So they need to repeat the MRI to see um, what's going on. Basically, is the shunt moved? Is it draining not enough, too much? Uh, I'm just repeating what Dr. Reese said to us on our previous video. Um, and then I was talking about uh, Sparky. We brought our little Sparky into the 24-hour animal hospital yesterday in Broward. And he was in pain. Uh, we could not figure out where the pain was coming from. Um, and I just got a call from Dr. Cecile. Uh, she's at Blue Pearl. They are going to be uh, having the uh, cardiologist, Dr. Carpenter, review and look at his um, heart and see what's going on if there's any pulmonary issues uh, and also Dr. Frame who is a board certified surgeon he is also going to be looking at uh, Sparky oh look at the cow oh, so wow um, he's going to be looking at Sparky as well uh, two hands four hands on him this morning to try to determine they can't figure out where the pain is coming from is it a pinched nerve? Is it, they, what did she mention, a tumor? Mm -hmm. um, so we don't really know right now. We're just kind of guessing, which I'm not going to do. So it's 1047. She said she would call me within a couple of hours after Dr. Carpenter and Dr. Frame both look at Sparky. And then we should hopefully, please God, have a diagnosis on him and what's happening. Um, again, Balto will be spending the day at the cardiologist, Dr. Reese, the Boynton Neurology Center, uh, probably till about three-ish, and then I'll have to run and pick him up at that time. <clears throat> With all that being said, um, we also have two dogs, um, Araya, that we pulled from the Broward shelter, that was a urgent plea that they sent out in mass email. I know the Duncan's up here, I used to live around here. Um, so Araya is doing phenomenal. Actually, uh, one of the nurses has been taking Araya home and she's very dog friendly, right? You, Shelly oh got to meet God. her because uh, so Ellen good. brought her over to get a harness and a martingale and a bed and toys. She's so off the chart. Off the chart. I, I can't, I haven't her. even met her. Believe it or not, I haven't even met a dog that I said yes to <laughs> that's been living at the 24-hour animal hospital. Uh, Cooper, the female that we also said yes to when Dr. Woolery reached out, the owners brought her in uh, about a month or so ago. She was hit by a car and they had no funds. They were going to euthanize her and she's a baby. So, of course, I said yes and she's had two surgeries and um, she was spayed. She was broken. I mean, her body, she's been getting physical therapy. <clears throat> Cosita's actually surprisingly doing very well. She really is. Uh, yeah. She slept through the night. That's the first thing I asked yeah. when I got there this morning, when I texted Shelly before I even got there. But Cosita, was, she's, she's been fine. fine. Um, so Cooper's doing great. Cooper actually went home with one of the nurses, Nick, last night with his two corgis. Uh, just to give her a break from the kennel and he sent me videos and photos and oh my god is she delicious she's this tiny little she's delicious fawn colored she almost looks like a pomeranian chihuahua mix um but she's delicious and uh, both of them are definitely in need of loving forever homes we still have sally uh, Sally is in need of a loving forever home. She's doing phenomenal with our amazing foster slash six-time adopter, Tanya and Michael. 
Um, she's been sending me updates. She actually sent me a video this morning. She had her on a little harness and she was walking on a harness. So that's great. Although she is a princess and she doesn't like to get her tootsies wet in the morning. So she's not a fan of going out on wet grass. She's a little princess. And Sally is looking for a forever loving home. Do you want your ice or do you want hot? Oh no, I need ice. You need ice. Watch out for it. We are behind Greyhound Rescue. Yeah, we're behind a Greyhound bus. Uh, it's actually a van with decorated uh, rescue. Um, so there we go. We have uh, Sparky update as for now. That's all I have. <clears throat> we have uh, Balto who is going in for a repeat of the MRI. Lavender got adopted. She's doing phenomenal. Uh, from the last update we had, she's doing so good. She went outside to do all her business. It might be the uh, turf. A lot of dogs are not used to fake grass, and they don't know they don't know what it is. Freaks them out. It feels funky on their feet. Um, so she's doing wonderful. She's doing wonderful. Thank you. We're so excited that she has a forever loving home. Um, I will tell you what's weighing very very heavy on myself and my team is. Um, Lena. Lena is our shepherd that was uh, brought back to us after her wonderful foster daddy Steve passed away from cancer and uh, she's so sad and she every all the volunteers are like Amy she is the most amazing loving sweet easy dog she just needs a person she's so easy if you're looking to open up your home to an amazing dog please consider Lena I'm gonna be doing a video um, within the next couple of days. You want your meat, uh, small ice caramel latte? Yeah. Hold on guys, I'm just gonna order some coffee. No extra. No? Is it all right, Hi, can I get a small ice caramel latte? Turbo. With an extra turbo? Extra right. caramel. And can I also get a, um, a medium hot coffee with cream and sugar? No That's it, thank you. Okay. No, no, I got cash, I mean. Um, so what were you asking me? I'm sorry. I've got a billion things going on at one time. Oh, I, yes. I want to say thank you. Um, I don't really, I didn't really want to like even talk about it or focus on me. Um, or make it all about the dogs. But what I wanted to say was thank you for everybody. Uh, I know I was MIA for a little bit and everybody's like, where is she? Where is she? And, um, I will tell you something that I've said this all along, um, my whole life, even at a young age, you have absolutely nothing in life if you don't have your health. And a freak, freak, freak incident happened with uh, myself and uh, Shelly and Keith. We were driving to Loxahatchee to our new house, rescue house, and we had his SUV, which is bigger than mine, loaded with, with stuff that we were transporting. And we got on the highway, we had our seatbelts. I was in the passenger seat, Keith was driving, and Shelly wanted to be in the back. And um, out of nowhere, out of nowhere. Hi there. Hold on, guys. This is yours? You got it? Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Sorry, guys. Need Java. Need some extra Java this morning. Is it good? So good. Yeah, it's a big difference up here. Okay, here we go. So we were driving. Um, I was, like I said, the passenger in Keith's car. Keith was driving. Shelly was in the back. We all had our seatbelts on. And out of nowhere, I, I, it happened within a split second, um, I felt like my seatbelt had literally cut me in half. That's how intense. And Keith as well. He pulled over. Somebody in front of us um, had an object in their SUV or I mean their pickup truck something came flying and it missed the windshield but it hit the bumper on the passenger side which 
the car has been in the shop now for days and days, thousands of dollars worth of damage, uh, weeks. Um, and when I tell you that Keith and I looked at each other, right, Shell? Uh -huh. And we both were like looking down at our waistline. We thought we were sliced in half. That's how intense the seatbelt had uh, jolted us. And Shelly was in the background going, oh my God, is there smoke? Is there, right? You kept yeah, thinking you saw there smoke. Was. Um, so it was crazy. And was we just d continued on. Um, we drove up and we basically, all of us were thanking God we were just like, wow, you know, in a split second, um, your life can be taken from you in one split second. We were all fine, not a mark on us. And we went about our business. And then I think it was what, a couple of days later, yeah. a couple of days later, um, I woke up and I was, it was, I just was rubbing Carol. I'm like, babe, 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 I'm okay. I'm okay. She's like, what's wrong? What's wrong? And my entire bedroom was spinning. Like if you're, if you're drunk and you're spinning, multiply that times a million. And I jumped out of bed, grabbing onto anything and everything I could. Um, I vomited like four times, not to be gross or graphic, but um, I was very, very sick. And it lasted on and off uh, for about a week. And then I went to the doctor um, and she ordered me a CT scan. And I went and had the CT scan. And while I was waiting for the results, which took four days, Friday, Saturday, because I had it on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, um, as you can imagine, I was still not feeling well. So in your brain, you know, you start Googling and you start thinking. And of course, you have yourself dead and buried with a brain tumor. So for the, all those days that I was feeling like hell, um, I was just, I was like, oh my God, this can't be happening. And I've got so much going on. I've got, you know, I've got a new rescue house and I've got to be okay. And then I got the results back on Monday uh, morning. The doctor called me and you want to talk about another scare, which really pisses me off. I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but um, I got a scare. The doctor calls me with the results of the CT scan on Monday and She's like, hi, um, yeah, this is Dr. So-and-so. We have the results. I'm like, okay, what is, well, you need to come in for a follow-up appointment. And I'm like, no, I'm like, what's wrong? What is wrong? And she's like, no, the doctor would like to see you. I said, no, that's not gonna work. I wanna know what is wrong. And she came back about three minutes later while I had myself dead. Um, and she's like, everything's normal. So they just wanted me to come in for another payment. But I just wanted to say thank you for everybody for your well wishes and not to take lightly how precious life is, right, Shelly? Because it can be, you're here one second and you're gone the next. Um, always be very cautious. I mean, listen, that was out of our control. Keith is a phenomenal driver and we were driving at a normal speed limit and we weren't flying or, or swerving or um, it just being in the right place, wrong place at the wrong time, right time but I'm so grateful and I just want to say thank you for everybody that's been sending me all these messages. I know I didn't answer. I've just been in my own head, uh, but everything's great. So thank you. Um, back to Lena. Yes. Um, Lena is when I tell you the shepherd that was, that came back to us because her daddy, her foster daddy, Steve rest in peace. Speaking of life being taken away. Um, he became ill and he went pretty quickly with cancer. So she finally found her person and now she's back at the rescue house um, and she's so confused and all of our volunteers are just so distraught over her, the, her sadness and she needs a person. She desperately, desperately needs a person, um, a forever or somebody that can give her even a loving foster home. Ideally, it would be great if somebody was home, somebody had a fenced yard, uh, no kids, and she would be best with being the only dog. I mean, if there was another dog, we would have to do them. She's been around other dogs. She's actually played with other dogs. Uh, it just changes things when you're in a home, you know, whether it's territorial, I don't know. But um, ideally, if there's somebody that just wants a companion and somebody to love and cuddle and, and potty trained and not destructive, she would be the most amazing, amazing therapy companion. So please consider Layla, um, Lena, sorry. Layla still needs a home as well. Um, and then 
Of course, Blake is still with us. Sam and Susie's still with us. Uh, Lance is still with us. And then we have um, Albert and we have all of our dogs that are at house too, you know? So we're very, very, very excited to get back to, um, you know, focusing on getting us up, not get back. We have been, but we can't wait to get up to the new property. Um, it's coming along beautifully. The, the fencing went in around the pool for safety for the dogs. Um, the air conditioning is going in the garages. The floors are being done in the garage. We are, we have a mover coming this Saturday. Um, and he is moving most of the furniture from house two and all of the stuff that we're not using for the next month or so. Um, so we can get all of that up to uh, the new rescue house. We also have a wonderful um, supporter. Uh, she has donated uh, five TVs and uh, three leather couches. And she's going to be delivering that this weekend as well. So we are so, 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 so excited for all of that we have to look forward to. Um, we're going to be taking deep breaths in the interim because we need to keep healthy and be healthy to continue to do all of this. It's a lot. And the heat in Florida does not help things at all, at all. So it's 11 o'clock. We are going to be heading back to Rescue House 2. Um, and then we'll keep you updated on what we find out from little Sparky and um, and then of course Baldo um, he should let us know something about I don't know maybe one two or three but as soon as we know we'll be back on and we'll update everybody so please make a donation help us cover the cost of Sparky at Blue Pearl 24 hour um, he's having his echocardio today with the cardiologist um, and then Balto's going in for his MRI and um, it's just ongoing again like I said we still have a Raya and Cooper still at the 24 hour that they've been living there for quite some time so I haven't even received that bill yet please make a donation and please do not forget to vote for Balto today and every day once a day and thank you guys so much for all your love your ongoing support your prayers I'm signing off. This is Amy and Shelly with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida.